Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how uh, you can make a series of circles on a closed uh, plan or curve. So as you can see here, if I change this curve, uh, this is going to update. Uh, I can change the radius here and reset the simulation with the Kangaroo plugin uh, and also change the number of circles I want and as I increase these circles radiuses uh, they're going to make a circle packing pattern and then I can also change the multiplication to uh, change uh, their location. Uh, you can see that I have also produced this on another uh, closed curve so I can also change that and produce different results. Uh, we are also going to talk about a collision and uh, find those circles that are out of our boundary and delete them and then find the final results. Okay, let's get started from scratch. Uh, first, what I want to do here is to draw a curve. Uh, it can be a NURBS curve or a polyline, doesn't really matter. And because I want to uh, make this in any plane, I'm going to bring this uh, up and rotate it a little bit. So uh, you can see that this is uh, in a different plane than XY or XZ or YZ. Uh, okay, let's bring this into Grasshopper. I'm going to go to the params menu and hit the curve, uh, set one curve and bring this into Grasshopper. Uh, if you don't want to mess uh, with this curve, you can right click and internalize and this will not uh, affect the input as you can see here uh, or we can just uh, put it to set. So whenever we update the curve, this is also going to be updated. Uh, be sure that the curve is planar. So uh, we're going to only talk about planar curves. Okay, after we have uh, imported the curve in Grasshopper, uh, I'm going to uh, make an offset from the curve uh, by going to the curve and utility offset. Uh, why I'm doing this is because, let's just give this a number slider for the distance. And if you run into problems, remember to give the curve also to the plane so it finds the plane. Uh, so be sure to give a planar curve. Uh, this has to go inwards. And the reason I'm using this uh, distance expression minus x to go inwards is uh, because I want to produce those random points inside a little bit of an offset from the boundary. Uh, this is going to help me uh, to control the circles and the circle packing. Uh, and also have a little bit of a border around the base curve. Uh, okay, after you have defined the offset, uh, we have to make it a surface. So I'm going to go to the params menu, geometry, and give it a surface. That's going to easily convert that into a surface uh, because it's planar. If it's not, it's going to give you an error. Uh, then I'm going to go to the uh, vector grid, and this populate geometry tool is going to help you to produce uh, random points on the surface. So I'm going to just give that to the surface and just define how many number of points I need. That's going to be the number of circles. Uh, for example, it's like three to a hundred. I give it to the count. You can see by increasing that, the number of the points is increasing. And this is a complete unique situation because you can see that this, these three points, when I increase them and go back to three, it's again at the same position. If you want to produce a new position each time, you just have to give a number slider maybe between one to one million, uh, whatever number of different situations you want to produce and give it to the seed, which is going to be the engine. So if I change that, uh, you can see that's going to give you different uh, results. Uh, okay, that's a helpful tool to get started with the first points. And now what we want to do is to produce those uh, uh, just take a look at the circles and what's uh, uh, happening. Uh, so what I want to do here is to make a plane for this. Uh, what I usually do is to go to the uh, params menu, geometry, and give a plane to a curve, especially if it's a planar curve, because that's going to simply give you the plane of the curve. That's really easy. And then we can just go to a vector, a plane, and use this plane origin to bring those points to this plane. So you can say plane origin, the base plane is this one, and the origin of the points is this one. And if I just turn everything off and only the planes on, uh, you can see that I'm uh, having the plane of those points. Uh, that's important because we're going to go to the curve uh, circle and see those circles in that plane. 
And if I just give this a number slider between maybe one to 30 with two decimals, uh, that's the radius. I can see uh, what are the circle radiuses here. And we're going to find their intersection when we increase the circle radius. So be sure to give it a plane. And uh, as you can see here, uh, this is uh, inside the curve plane. Okay, now we're going to use the Kangaroo plugin to give them some collision. So we're going to go to the Kangaroo uh, main and use the uh, Kangaroo solver to use uh, the circle packing technique.